Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been a while. So I finally got that series done where I'm cleaning and reorganizing my makeup wardrobe, my makeup, my clothes, and all that. So I wanted to sit down with you guys because I know I've been in my A and kind of explain what's been going on, what has been happening in my life, all of that, because I feel like we haven't had a life update in like a couple of months. So there have been <laughs> so many things that have happened, okay? Let's start let's start with like the biggest thing okay so if you're not new here then you do know that i have some i struggle with some some issues um with anxiety and adhd and stuff like that so i just i tend to fall off from time to time um just because i feel like my mental health and all that is like super important to me and if i'm i feel like too many things going on or I'm just not in the right mind state that I kind of just step away from social media altogether like not even just YouTube but like really all of them Instagram TikTok basically all of it. I just kind of shut down kind of get off of social I take a step back I, I take a step it's too much too much is going on it's overwhelming it's overstimulating I take a step back I think it's a very healthy thing to do I will probably continue to do it from time to time um I always keep you guys updated I always put stuff in my community tab or my stories on Instagram I don't kind of just disappear but I disappear if you will so on top of like mental health having issues Steven winded up having to have his appendix removed. So basically he was having some stomach issues. He woke up one day with some stomach issues um, and he kind of just ignored it. My husband is very like, mm, it's not a big deal. I'll just get over it kind of situation. And I'm like, you need to go to the hospital. I believe it was the next day he was still like having severe stomach pains. And I was like, you need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. So he went to the hospital. I stayed home. We couldn't get a sitter. I can't leave my children at home at nighttime alone. Four o'clock comes around and he calls me and he's like, you need to get here. I'm having surgery. Okay, first of all, Steven, you don't just answer the phone with that kind of shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta prepare me like, hey babe, how'd you sleep? Got some news. No, he's like, you gotta get here. Surgery. Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm asleep. I'm tired. Oh, what? Wait, what? So I get my sister over here, I get up, I get ready, we go. He has his appendix removed and then he had healing and all of that. He was off for a little while, so I was helping him with that. So on top of like my already, like my job, the kids, the house, he's out of commission and he's a big help to me. My children unfortunately are not, but my husband is a big help when it comes to like around the house and stuff like that. So like having him like laying and not being able to do anything was just like, like overwhelming right so on top of my already having my own issues with my mental health and anxiety I was also overwhelmed because I essentially had to do it by myself because unfortunately he was unable to do it that happened and then it was just like okay okay we're we're gonna get we're fine this hat these things happen it's fine so the next thing I wanted to talk about or hit on was I had to restart my Instagram because I believe Instagram marked my account as spam. I wasn't growing, whatever, whatever. And now I went from monetized on Instagram with a couple thousand subscribers or followers to 40 something, like 42, 49, and it's not growing. And it has completely made me second guess my entire decision on deleting my old account. And I'm just stuck with, do I keep going on this new one? Or do I try to get them, like try to send them, like notice like emails or something like, hey, I'm not a spam account. I know what I did you know, doing follow for follow in 2018 and all that. Got my freaking account just like marked as spam. But like, I'm not spam, I'm a real person. So it's just been very discouraging. It's been a, it's a, been a very discouraging couple of months. So just, just keep that, drop that down, okay? <laughs> so we got a puppy, huh? I'm, I'm kind of excited. Um, I know I don't seem really excited, but I am kind of excited. But it's also like another, stressor if you will it's like having another toddler i have a two-year-old now i have two two-year-olds okay and i'm teleworking and i'm just like <laughs> but he's so great he's like the most chill dog ever he is i want to say about 14 weeks he was born january 4th um he is a boy his name is cooper i'll put him here for you guys to see he literally so i got the puppy because my husband and my son they wanted, they wanted a puppy, okay? And I was like, no, 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 we're not getting a puppy. For like the longest time, I was like, no, 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 we're not getting a puppy. And then I was like, you know what? I saw this puppy. It's a friend of mine. Um, her dogs had puppies. And I was like, oh. 
Like, I felt like this dog was, like, calling my name, okay? If that makes any sense. Like, I just, I felt like this dog was made for me. Um, and if you know me in real life, I'm not really an animal person. I just don't. I'm not, I've never been like, oh my god, animals. I'm just like, oh, they're cute. <laughs> I'm over here, animals are over there. But there was just something about Cooper when I saw the photo that I was just like, <sighs> I need him we need him so we did get him and he is doing great he starts his training I believe May 2nd May 2nd after he gets all of the rest of his shots um, that cost me $1,300 Ugh. I mean, I, we've been trying to train him like on our own and like following some videos, but I just really think that professional and formal training is really important to puppies and dogs if you want to have them be really good and really obedient in your home, just so you're not always like, don't do that, stop doing it. It's like kids, okay? They need training. You can't just let them do whatever they want and expect them to turn out to be amazing, right? So anyways, it costs me an arm and a leg, but so I have a puppy. Um, so on top of everything else I'm doing I'm like oh my god I don't have time <laughs> I don't have time to film I don't have time I have everything going on and then if you have a puppy if you ever had a dog um puppies like every 30 minutes to an hour they have to go out while they're potty training so he's doing really well um he is almost fully potty trained he's only had two accidents since I want to say a week into when we got him so he's done really really well then he wound up getting like a uti or something and i had to take him to the vet and they had to give him medicine so it's just been <laughs> like having a brand new baby and i'm just like i checked that box off never again like two years ago right so i have my list here that's why i keep looking over here but and then i just like what was the next thing i wanted to hear okay writer's block okay writer's block you all know what writer's block is, but like video block. Is that thing? I don't fucking know. I just, I feel like I'm, I'm in a space where I want to do makeup tutorials, but I feel like everyone hates makeup tutorials. Then I want to do lifestyle stuff and I'm just like, I love lifestyle stuff. I have a lot of fun doing them. I've done a lot of those videos lately. I will continue to be doing them just as an update. Um, they're going to be like, it's going to be half and half. I'm going to try to do half and half, but I really, really, really like the lifestyle videos. It just feels so much more comforting and like natural to me, if you will. I love makeup. I will always love makeup. I will always do makeup, but I just feel like my lifestyle content really encourages me um so I just feel like when I'm doing content that I'm not I'm not really as excited about or I feel like I'm not doing it well I kind of get discouraged and then I'm like I don't want to fucking do this anymore so I feel like obviously I'm good at makeup I know you don't have to tell me even though I have people who comment on my YouTube pages and say nasty things beside the point um I, I do it well okay I just get to a point almost like burnout writer's block where I'm just like okay what else could I do everything that you could think of has been done and I don't do like crazy special effects makeup I don't I'm just like a normal bitch okay like I just I put on the normal makeup and sometimes like I will make it like real jazzy and smoky and bright colored and a little liner but I don't do like these gems and these faux freckles and all of these things and then I start to get discouraged because I'm like I'm not like that I'm never gonna do that like I just feel like it wouldn't be me if I was like oh yeah I'm gonna do all this because everyone else is doing this so then I get discouraged in my own head and I'm like well because I'm not following these trends I'm not growing in which I wish or thought I would but I have to like be honest with you guys like I just have to stay true to who I am I don't do graphic makeup I don't do um special effects makeup so I just I start to like kind of beat myself up like oh well if I would follow the trends more but I'm here to tell you that's just not who I am so if you guys want to see video ideas and stuff or if you want to give me video ideas and stuff like that and like something is a little bit more crazy or a little bit more risque I will try it I don't mind doing that but I'm just not going to chase a trend because it's not who I am and I don't feel comfortable doing that and I feel like it's very fake and I just don't have time like I don't have time to be a fake person I have too much have you heard the shit I'm going through right now I don't have time to be fake it's it takes too much effort in which I have none of it's been a battle for my eczema okay a long long tiring battle and I thought that the medicine that they gave me like my neck and stuff is 100% clear I have some scarring 
but it's nothing crazy, okay? But it's my face. Like, they gave me a different medicine for that, and it was working for a little bit, and then it's just been slowly but surely just getting worse. You probably can't see it because obviously, like, the lighting and the camera makes me look so perfect, but it's, like, really bad, and it's peeling and scabbing, and it makes me, like, not want to put makeup on, okay? I, I just, I haven't wanted to put makeup on probably in almost a year. I have put makeup on for videos, but I rarely wear makeup anywhere because this, it gets so bad. And like when it's just my skin and I'm not wearing makeup, I can kind of tame it down, put some lotion on and you can't really tell. You can see that it's red and irritated, but as soon as I put makeup on, it just peels and clusters off and it's just so bad. It's so bad and it's so embarrassing. So I just don't wear makeup. And I'm getting to the point where I'm so used to not wearing makeup that it's like having to do makeup. I'm just like, ugh, you know? This is embarrassing. I ordered the Kylie Jenner and Kendall collection. Yeah. And I haven't used it. I haven't used it. I haven't, because I want to review it for you guys, but I get to the point when it, when it comes to my skin because I struggle with it. It is obviously a self-esteem issue I struggle with um confidence I guess that I struggle with with it and it's like if you don't really we don't have that kind of situation or like you deal with like acne and stuff like that you get it but if you have relatively like flawless skin and not even just flawless if you have a little bit of texture it's one thing but when you have like a serious like breakout where your skin is like flaring up it's swollen it's patching it's cracking it's it's just, it makes, it's so discouraging. And I'm just like, I don't want to touch makeup until my face is healed. So it makes it very hard to do makeup videos for you guys because I'm just like, I don't want to put it on my face because it, it's just so uncomfortable on my face that it's not funny. Like it's not even just like a look thing. It irritates the spots that I have that I struggle with, like here on my eyes and around my mouth. I, it irritates it so bad. So it makes it very difficult to put makeup on. So I usually have a lip gloss on <laughs> mascara <laughs> and that is all that I do so if you're wondering like where all the makeup looks or tutorials have been that's kind of why I mean to be honest though my channel was never made for like makeup tutorials like I never that was never a thing that I decided I was gonna do I mean I added them in but I was more like a review makeup collection talking makeup kind of thing but I never wanted to be like a makeup tutorial channel if that makes sense like I just don't I don't know this is not who I don't know why I just never really wanted to do that I mean I love watching them I watch them all the time but that's why I haven't basically that's why I haven't been doing physical makeup videos for you guys um because like it's just so bad it makes me like want to cry okay because when you're when you feel less confident it takes a toll on you mentally as well so and then that takes me into one of my other points. I don't really know where I am. Like, I feel like I've gained so much weight because I'm teleworking. I don't really go anywhere, um, which is so strange because I eat like once a day. <laughs> but, um, and then it gets to the point, like there'll be days where I'll tell Steven like, oh, I ate lunch. And he's like, I'm so proud of you. And that's probably like really abnormal for some people. And it's because I don't eat and it gets to the point where like my anxiety, like my mental health issues are kind of like, I struggle to where I'm like, I have to do basic things like eat, like it's hard. It shouldn't be hard, <laughs> right? Like you have to eat, like that's your thing. You have to eat, you have to take care of yourself. And I just feel like I'm not taking care of myself and my body is changing in a way that I absolutely hate and that makes it worse and it's like I want to work out and I want to do this and I want to do better but then my mental health because I'm not like this or I look so much bigger than I used to be it's it's like you have so many things to do but instead you lay down on the couch because you can't you just can't like I don't know how to explain it and it's such a hard it annoys me because I try to explain to Steven and he gets it but like he also doesn't because I can't I can't, I can't let it out. Like, there's no way for me to be like, this is how I'm feeling. So it always comes out like gibberish, um, which I'm sure that just sounded like gibberish. But I feel like my physical body is suffering 
because my mental health or my emotional health is suffering. So they go hand in hand, but it's like one can't change without the other and neither are bending to change. I get to the point where I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have to talk to a therapist. I've been trying to, the problem is I've been trying for so many years and for so long to kind of manage it on my own. You know, like I'm fine. Yeah, I have anxiety. Yes, I deal with ADHD, but I can manage those on my own. It's not a big deal. I don't need to see a therapist. And I think it's getting to the point where I'm like, I, it's probably super unhealthy that I'm not. Um, because if I did see a therapist then I could probably get my shit together and kind of just get to where I need to be or at least work towards where I need to be. Um, I got really dark really fast, but I know that like, I'm not really as super consistent as, you know, I probably should be as a YouTuber or content creator, but I feel like it's more realistic than some of these people. I mean, like, great. I'm glad that they can, you know, film and record through super stressful life situations, but I think that it's more realistic to just not be able to do those things, to just have to say, you know what, I have to take, take a step back. I have to put me first. I have to make sure that I am 100% or I cannot be 100% for my community. Um, and I think that it's super important to acknowledge that mental health, like in this field, of work okay content creators for whatever platform it is such an emotional draining job and that's not me complaining so don't leave me nasty little comments what you chose to do just stop it it is because you guys don't really see a lot of the hate comments because i filter most of them out and then i delete them yes i'm a i'm a comment deleter okay i don't care because that negative energy doesn't live here but sometimes no matter how much you want to ignore it it kind of just like doesn't um there was a comment about my skin at one point um recently there was a comment about my weight at one point recently it's just like things that people don't need to say to other people for no reason um, i do delete the comments because one you guys don't need to see those and two I don't need to see them. I don't, you know, people are like, just ignore them. And no, I don't have to do that. Yes, I have chosen to be a content creator. Yes, I have chosen to share a large part of my life online. But at no point did I check a box that says, yes, rip me to shreds, physically, emotionally, just be nasty and mean to me, and I have to take it. At no point did I, I will delete the comments. I don't care. Yes, I can tell that I've gained weight. I can see that. I have a viewfinder. I also have a monitor. I have several mirrors. I don't need some shitty person on the internet who hates their life to go, oh, just so you know, you gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So I just, it's just been a lot. Um, I feel like my absence has been basically just like stress and like emotional reasons. Um, and basically I just wanted to come on here and kind of explain myself to you guys. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I have to explain myself, but you know, explain to you guys. Cause you guys are a big part of my life. And I just want to basically be able to just let you know, like, Hey, this is going on right now with me. And if you could kind of just like, you know, <laughs> You know, hang with me <laughs> it'll work itself out I am going to be making one change um, until the end of summer just because during the summer I like to spend the time with my children and my family but I still want to continue to make content so I'm going to be dropping down to Mondays and Fridays starting next week I will only be placing two videos up a week until the end of August and then I'll be going back to three days a week you will start seeing more shorts like I have been doing throughout the week so it'll still tell you that I've uploaded as long as you're subscribed and hit the bell notification it will tell you that I've uploaded those shorts so it might seem like I'm uploading every day but they're shorts and they're not actual videos so just keep that in mind I'm going down to two days a week instead of three to one give me a break and two to enjoy the beautiful weather that is coming here to Maryland I hope you guys I hope this helped you guys understand me a little bit more and where I am right now and where I've been and what's going on and that I didn't just disappear. I'm always still here if you have any questions or you just want to talk or you need someone to talk to message me. I have a lot of people who just message me and tell me about crazy shit or fucked up shit that is going on in their life and I'll talk to you because guess what? Same. Okay. I'm a normal fucking person. Like I know it seems like I'm not. I am. 
just I'm just as crazy and loony as the rest of us. Yeah. I appreciate all of the support most of you have given me. I know I have had some people kind of say, where have you been? But I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of positive support and I absolutely appreciate it. I appreciate the people who have commented on my community tabs and my videos who have directly messaged me and asked me how I'm doing and if everything is okay. I really appreciate it so much. You have no idea how much it means to me to have people that really truly care about what's going on and notice that I'm, I'm not around. So I really, really appreciate it guys. But just make sure before you leave, if you're new here to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!